Dear participants, it is a pleasure for me to address your panel today. Together, we have come a long way since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic confirmed clearly that we can work together, we can find common solutions, we can rely on each other. This means that we can also recover together and come out of the crisis stronger. Our common efforts help to better understand the virus and its varieties. We have a number of available treatments and measures to fight against infection and illness. But most importantly, we have now vaccines available to stop the pandemic from spreading. It is an important achievement of the scientific community. From the start of the pandemic, the European Commission has stood by its partners in the Western Balkans and the EU's immediate neighbourhood. Despite the global shortage, the EU has delivered life-saving equipment and vaccines. First, with emergency medical equipment like masks, ventilators, intensive care units and ambulance vehicles. Second, by strengthening the resilience of the partner countries. Third, we have helped to secure vaccines, especially for the medical workers, as well as for vulnerable groups. Now we are helping to launch the socio-economic recovery. We care for our partners. The role of the World Health Organization remains of paramount importance, and let me express our appreciation for your commitment and determination to address the pandemic. Our close cooperation has helped to roll out the vaccination campaigns and ensure the resilience of the healthcare sector across the Western Balkans and in the Eastern Partnership countries. Currently, I see four key challenges ahead of us. First, a steady supply of vaccines. In most partner countries, progress is visible, but to stop the pandemic, we must vaccinate more than 80% of the population. We're still far from those levels. EU member states are ready to share vaccines. Please let us know your needs over the coming months, and I will do my best to facilitate the vaccine sharing by our member states to fill the gaps. Second, the absorption capacity for vaccination. We have noticed that not all partners have sufficient capacities to roll out their vaccination strategies. These need to be increased for an efficient vaccination campaign, especially to reach the most vulnerable groups. The support of the WHO for training, planning and preparedness is much appreciated. Third, fighting vaccine scepticism. More and more partner countries face problems to ensure that a sufficient number of their population get vaccinated. In some cases, even reaching more than 20-30% of the population looks challenging. We remain ready to continue supporting these countries. We need to avoid a vicious circle of continuous waves of infections with high numbers of victims and its socio-economic damages. Fourth, the long-term modernization of the healthcare systems. This pandemic might provide an opportunity to work on the functioning and resilience of our healthcare systems and address some of the long overdue shortcomings. Not only as regards the COVID-19 and other infectious diseases, but also more broadly in terms of the infrastructure, staff, access to treatment and training. Only the vaccine can stop this pandemic. I wish you a good discussion on the European Immunization Agenda for 2030 and how to build better health for tomorrow. Thank you for your attention.